Belmont 13, Earl Anthony 10, along with PDW, Mike Albee 8, Walter Ray 8 majors. Then there's Norm with 7 majors. What a career for Norm Duke. Avoids a split early in his fourth game. Second on the longer oil pattern. All the bowlers will be back tomorrow here on CBS Sports Network. Live coverage continues this event. This is about seating for the stepladder group finals tomorrow. All chasing that guy. Wow. Completely locked in. Duke looks frustrated, and he looks a little on the beaten side. You think? Yeah, I, 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 that's what I see. I mean, he's grinding so hard, and he just can't figure out a way to throw enough strikes. Oh, how'd that look? Crossing over, almost a Brooklyn strike there. 6'10 up for Sean Rash. Simonson averaging a 253 plus through the three games. That's just extraordinary on two different oil patterns here in Jupiter. All 10 back for Buttrup. Not good. Sean Rash missing another spare. Chops the six right off the 10. I didn't see that coming. It's all working here for Simonson. Norbu! And in the pit. You can see your three game totals there in yellow, just to the right of the players' names. like it. Got a huge break there. Could have been back-to-back -back open frames for Sean to start this fourth and final game. Top two spots, of course, will wait in the stepladder finals. Top seed, only one match, but seeds three and four will play right away, Randy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, winner take all, winner advances. Yeah, and I, I mean, the only advantage of qualifying third is that you get choice of starting lane and position, so um, that, that, is, that is a bit of an advantage, especially in a one-game match. But right now, I mean, your, your sights have to be set on being that number one guy. Right now, that's Anthony Simonson. Rash, 43 back. Buttruff, 81 back. And Norm Duke, 88 back. That's a tall hill to climb, especially when you got a guy like Simonson who's locked in. He's not going to give you any room. The question is, I think, is, is can, can Duke or Buttruff run down Rash? He's got the ailing back. And uh, he's the one that I think if anybody gets run down, it's going to be him. I don't see anybody catching Simonson. I can't either. It's very unlikely this one. I mean, the lanes are transitioning. It could change, but seems doubtful the way Simon's going, Randy. I agree. More coming up. PBA Tour Finals, CBS Sports Network. It's qualifying day here in Jupiter, Florida. The 2020 PBA Tour Finals on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Go Bowling. For promotional offers, tips to improve your game, news, or to locate a bowling center near you, log on to GoBowling.com. While we were away, Norm Duke. Nine spare, same for Simonson. Butcher of a strike. Rash struck as well. PBA Tour Finals. 
here at Jupiter, Florida. Live coverage on CBS Sports Network. Dave Ryan alongside my Hall of Fame broadcast partner, Randy Peterson. This is the fourth of four games of qualifying for Group 1. 672 for Duke in three games. This is fourth and final. Came here. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> It, sound, it sounded sure. like he was speaking in a foreign language. That's impressive, Norm. Maybe maybe a reference to a Justin Bieber song? I think it was a Justin Bieber Yeah. Song. Everyone look up this guy, Anthony Simonson. Wow. Those pins have no chance against Simonson today. He has just been brilliant. You know what else has no chance? Me going to a Justin Bieber concert with Norm Duke. I'm going to put that in a very low percentage number once concerts are back. Can't wait for the return of that. Look at that. Look at that break. That's pretty big. Like the Butcher is recovering from a pretty interesting medical issue. Bitten by a spider recently. Couldn't bend his left wrist. He's a lefty. Just a couple of weeks ago. And then had a very bad allergic reaction to the medication he was given. John Rash finishing up here in his fourth game. Man. Pretty scary for Jacob, wasn't it? Yeah, they, they, they thought it may have been a brown recluse that bit him. And, like, he basically turned red all over his body, Oof. had a bad reaction to the medication they were giving him. So, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was a little testy. He's got the right man. He's good now. That's great news. Back to Normie. Is he using two different balls? Why? It's hard for me to see from yeah. here. Is that legal? I think he's using a different ball on the right lane than he is on the left lane. And seven pins separating Buttruff and Duke entering the fourth and final game of qualifying here. No worries for this guy. No slowing down for uh, Simonson. He was starting to look more and more like he'll be your leader. Rash right now can strike out uh, for 269. Simonson can shoot 279. Yeah. And how about watching Jacob Buttruff <laughs> hook the entire lane with a reactive resin ball? That's kind of fun to watch. He's awesome. Yeah. When it's close between the two, three, and four seed, it's boring. When it's close between the top seed and the other guys, then it's fun. Basically, it's a bummer assignment since it's been so good. <laughs> Got this huge lead and everybody else. Oh, it was game two that really cost him. Yeah. 194 in the second game after a 277 opener for Rash. Duke 221. 227, 224. Very consistent. Thank you. It's a great shot by Norm. He's giving it the Monica Sellis, if you will, at the foul line. He's really trying to get after it. You can hear a little grunting coming from Norm. And definitely confirmed using two different bowling balls. <laughs> Pretty impressive 23-year-old right there, folks. Seven titles, two majors for Simonson. Top five in points. This abbreviated season so far. <laughs> These two are just putting out a strike fest. No, it's fun to watch. Incredible bowling. Back to Sean Rash. Oh, hit a tree. Okay. <laughs> They'll take it. Just fine. Don't worry about it. Hit a tree. I love it. <laughs> Sound like my golf swing. <laughs> oh, God. Hit something. Please. Get a house. I played golf with you before, Parker. I know how good you are. Yeah, you have to wear a hard hat.
He's kidding, folks. Very sarcastic. <laughs> this guy's not kidding. No kid around for Simonson today. Man, oh man, has he been locked in. So uh, I'm going to ask our statistician if he can give me a, a, an update. St uh, uh, is, is, it, is it a shutout yet? I mean, can Rash still get him? I'll turn back for Norm. It's done, right? Simonson's going to be the number one seed. 234, 264, 262 heading into this fourth game. Had a huge lead entering the fourth and final game of qualifying. Yeah, he's stri he's been striking a lot, so he's got two. I don't know how many in a row he's thrown, but. Can I have two frames back? <laughs> Sean is definitely locked in, too. Latter stage of this fourth game. Seven for Butcher from this game. Four straight for Simonson in this game. It's like the PBA Strike Derby all over again, Randy. Except they're not going that fast for uh, as is, many as you can get in 120 seconds. I mean, this is a strike fest. So, so max scores you got Simon with 279. Duke can shoot 72. Duke can shoot 269. Mm. Rash can shoot 269, and Butcher can shoot 300. <laughs> wow. It's a clinic here. I think it's like something like 18 in a row. For it's all amazing the to watch this. And keep in mind, we had a goal pattern change after the second game of qualifying. It's just talk about it. amazing update with what's happening here. We're working out the numbers. It's a lot of strikes in a row. Twenty-five in a row is the final count that I got. That's twenty-six in a row. Come on, twenty-six strikes in a row between these four players. Nine straight for Butler. Remember, wow. they changed patterns. It's a forty-six foot long. Yeah, pattern. I mean, hit a tree. Hit a tree. Ash, no. All right, the slow messenger didn't quite get to the ten pin. There goes the strike streak. But yeah, but now he's that looking, was fun to watch. Now he's looking back and doing the math and seeing if uh, Buttrip can go around him, and he, indeed he can. Sean Rash now seventy. I'm trying to do the math on the scoreboard. I've got four of them to do. So two forty-eight max for Rash. Buttrip can shoot three hundred. Buttrip trailing Rash by thirty-eight. My math says, yeah, he can go around him. The number is heading into this fourth and final game of qualifying on the scoreboard here in Jupiter. It's a five bagger for Simonson into the tenth frame. Here's Duke. Another one. Simonson trying to pile up these pins. The four pin stands a rarity for Anthony today. Not to strike. Simonson's going to be in the 260s for the third consecutive game. Norm's trying for seven straight strikes in his fourth game of qualifying. Pardon me, 250, not 260. He'll get that with a tap on the four. Ninth frame for Simonson right there, folks. Should say 238. Yeah. His best score yet, 268. 
Great ball for Norm Duke, 269. It's his best game of the four so far. And Rash deals with a four pin. Buttrip going at a possible 300. He's going to go around Sean Rash. Huge numbers in this fourth game. Hey, just to go back, Simonson's score is correct. It was 260, like I originally said. So my apologies for that. a lot to keep track of you know a lot of strikes a lot of pins Randy I mean our statistician Cecil over here is running around like crazy just trying to get his numbers all right now I think that put him ahead of Sean Rash and one more for a perfect 300 game wow what a day for Buttruff here who's just been incredible in this fourth game $10,000 bonus, but it's just a minute to watch. All right, get one going here. It would be the 28th all-time 300 game on TV for Jacob Buttruff in qualifying in the PBA Tour Finals. Going for perfection here for Buttruff. Get it. Yes, yes he does! Okay. The 300 game for Jacob Buttruff. Perfection. <laughs> And Jupiter for the lefty today, and a little air hug to celebrate. Good stuff. With the reactive resin, nonetheless, I mean, great stuff here. Take a look at this last shot for Jacob Buttruff. Nice pin action, that high rev rate, that ball hooking so hard the back part of the lane. Good stuff. As great as Simonson has been, that was a major highlight. Uh, day one of qualifying year, the PBA Tour Finals. Perfect yeah. game for Jacob Buttrefar, Super Southpaw.